so here we are with Rockfeck. Um, Wolverine 6 I I guess we just built that. I have no memory of this place. Um, PPC, X-Pulse, yep. Isorums, I remember that. PPC, Treb. That was kind of like the back attack Spectre. Our large chem fire star was actually really good. Uh, swordsman that I wasn't too keen on, and then backup locust for if something drastic happens. Um, we can make a clint, and we can make a mortar herby. I think we just get into the swing of things. Um, assassinate? I don't know what diff, what twenty what uh shield rate one and a half. Okay, it's a little bit on the law side, but we'll uh, we'll treat it as a warm up. I need to get back into Rock Deck. I need to get back into the Rock Deck mindset. I've been playing a lot of Bex this week, so um, we'll see what we'll see what we can do. That is the thing I dislike about doing like recordings once a week. I just forget everything. I stream so much Battletech that it's uh it's hard to keep track of the uh, the once a week one. <clears throat> but it's either that <clears throat> or I'm sitting on like No, there's no other way to do it because I tried doing it like other ways before and I was just always sitting on like two hundred giga footage. Like I, 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 what I could do, which honestly I've got the storage capacity now, but it, it seems really shitty to do, is just do one playthrough, stream it all, and just store the footage. Uh, but the thing I don't like about that is like huge patches will come out, and I'll still be releasing footage from like three months prior. So, I wasn't keen on that. At least this way, it's like keeping sort of up to date. Right, so there's the target. There's the support. Do I want to beeline for the target? Actually, it is safer just to go for the target. If I spawn here, this is probably the safest place I could spawn. Unless oh, there's a lance right here. I don't think there is. What's our target? Urban met risk. Uh, I don't know what you are. Are you a rack two? Added spawn protection for round two. Oh, uh, I should not be hittable. Because they have done some patches to the spawn protection system since uh, I last played, because it was a little bit finicky. But yeah, like, I'm very much up for ideas. If people can think of a better way to do the YouTube series, I'm very much up for ideas. I kind of don't like how I'm doing it. But I've kind of, like, I've got nothing better.
There's no better way to do it. Highlight type, I can Battletech just isn't that kind of game. Is the thing. Like, I tried doing a semi, like, edited type. Like, with, like, I tried time lapsing with, like, edited cuts to the mech lab and stuff like that. And I got my first ever down, uh, down like, from it. Which I know, you know, like, just, like, you know, it's just one down like, but, like, I've released nearly 200 videos, and that was my first dislike, was my first edited video. So I was just kind of like, well, something went wrong here then. Hey, it was Rack 2. I was right. Bottom protection removed. Hey, I'm glad that it gives you a little memo for that. I like that a lot. Right. So the Rack is the right arm. So we want to save that. I've got to remember, I can sprint and shoot. <clears throat> I don't have to worry about that anymore. Our aim is really fucking good here as well. Well, it is an air bit, granted. Uh, go for listen, kill. He is fine. This way, like the the current series is growing my channel very well on uh, on YouTube, so I'm happy with how it's performing. I just I do want to make it better, but I just don't have the time to commit as well. That type of thing. And for how much firepower this has, it it's really impressive. Just how like low heat it is. Very impressed by this thing. Omnis. Omnis are kind of strong. Oh, you're double heat sinks. Probably could have tried saving more of those. Still, I think saving the ballistic is fine. I do have, like, if I do a rock tech, um thing next. I do have an idea in mind that I want to do. To spice it up a bit. Um, which will be for the stream only series. EPC capacitor. That would put you into the one shot range. Yeah, I need to turn that on to put you in the one-shot range. And both need to hit CT. Or that. Ding! a hey, mother! Thank you so much for the tier one. Five months! Five months. Wow. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate that. Thank you for all the support you've given. You've honestly given a massive amount to the channel. Ooh, SPL, small pulse laser? It's still a prime bubble lub. Five months. Damn, does time go by fast. Yeah, uh, it feels weird because I, it doesn't feel like I've been streaming for necessarily that long. But I've been streaming for 18 months. Like, it's actually, cause I, I'm, I've been streaming quite a long time now, so it's, it's very interesting to, uh, when I kind of like break it down 
it is a long time, but it doesn't feel like it. Yeah. Stream nearly daily for 18 months. That's kind of wild. Um, right, so they're all vehicles? All vehicles. If I go here, that gives me a bit of cover against the majority and gives me a really good sensor lock. Because the ring radius on this thing is insane. Not that any of them had ECM. Okay, yeah, so we definitely passed the one score point. This was this was a good test. Turn it off. We're definitely in the one and a half to two score region for sure. So that that was that's nice to know. We also got a good rack two out of it, so hella worth from that perspective. Eight evasion. Actually, um, I, w I looked on Reddit for the first time in forever regarding Rog Tech. And it was interesting to see uh, people's mentality towards early game Beatles. Uh, somebody posted an, an image. It was his first. Uh, he, he's, you know, he's not a new player, but uh, he started a new run. And in his first mission, he got a stealth veto that could get eight evasion. In his first mission, and everybody in the and the guy was like, "Yeah, this, you know." This, this shouldn't happen in your first mission type of thing, which I agree. Like, everyone in the comments was literally just like, "Oh, you're too far away. It, it's fine. No, you just you just haven't changed your mechs yet." And like, it was just really dumb comments like that, completely misunderstanding what the guy was on about. And I was just thinking to myself, it's like. He's not attacking Rogue Tech. He's just saying that, you know, maybe stealth mechs in half school missions is not the way to go. Like, I gotta say, as much as I love Rogue Tech and I love the streaming side of Rogue Tech, I don't like the Rogue Tech community. <laughs> the Rogue Tech community is not very helpful. They are not helpful to uh, to a lot of people. And it's really sad. Criticism is yeah. Probably probably why they don't like me so much. I just chat so much shit about Rogue Tech. Like, I love it to bits, but I can see the problems in the game. At least, you know, my opinion problems. But it, it was just, it was wild to see people trying to defend 8 evasion stealth fetals in a half school mission. In, in your very first half school mission. Like, it was very interesting to hear their mindset. Of like why it's a good thing, and there is zero fundamental re like there's zero reason why there should be in a half skull mission a stealth veto that can go eight evasion. Zero reason for that to be in a half skull mission. One skull mission, go for it. Half skull just doesn't make sense. I, 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 an ECM VTOL, fine, but stealth is the problem I am on. And you might think, oh, but what's the difference? Um, if you don't know the difference between stealth and ECM, ECM can still be beat by a good sensor check, 
and or if the ECM is active, you just stay out of the range of it. With Stealth Armor, effectively, your sensor check doesn't matter. You need to you need to be able to beat the Stealth Armor in order to get sensor check on it. So, if they have Stealth Armor, you can never have sensors on them. Unless you sensor lock or have ECM or Beagle Probe. Which is why it's such a problem. Even more so if it's um, Mimetic. If it's Mimetic Armor, you're always classed as Firing Blind. So they have 8 Evasion. So it's a plus 16. And then they have a plus 8. No, sorry, a plus 12 because you're Firing Blind. Which is effectively another 6 Evasion. So because it's a stealth VTOL, it basically has 14 evasion because of its stealth armor. It's fucking wild. There's another way five, you can see him. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's a very different game. I, I don't like comparing... Uh, MechWarrior 5 to Battletech. They are fundamentally, like, the the only similarity is the fact that it's the same universe. FPS doesn't translate well to tabletop. I, I, know, I, I know that you wasn't necessarily making a comparison, but in uh, it... Usually when that comparison gets made, it goes downhill very quickly. For both sides. Good news is, I might be doing some MechWarrior 5 soon. Soon TM. Uh, met some awesome people recently who uh, invited me to a collab. So. It'll be a lot of fun. Right, incendiaries, one shot to the side. Actually, it'll be two shots. Oh, well, we got it anyway. Tree land protection actually saved it, which is kind of wild. But yeah, nice easy mission to kick it off with. Nice easy mission to kick it off with. So I believe we're doing the auger in here. I was going to do the campaign. Are we at a position where we can attempt the campaign? Maybe we are. Rack two. Oh, we killed the CT, so we won't get the double heat sink. We are going to get the rack ammo. I'll take the extra. Um... Small Pulse Magnas are interesting, because it's basically just crit machines. Maybe risk. It's worth a lot. It's risk tech. Oh, wait, BC Ballistic. Uh, yeah. I've got one of those. Cool. Yeah, yeah. We'll do that. Don't need the core. Don't need that. Don't need that. MG half? I guess I'll take it. Armored cowl. I never use those. Yep. Racks are... I think the most overtuned weapon in the game at the moment. Arguably. Their, their tonnage to damage ratio is absolutely insane. Absolutely bonkers tonnage to damage ratio. Sure, they've got recoil, which um, is is a fairly big deal. But especially the risk versions, which I know is additional content. 
Yeah, recoil is kind of a non-issue, IMR. Recoil is very easily mitigatable to the point where it's irrelevant. Jam is the more fundamental problem. Only two days recovery. We got our pilots to a really good uh, state then. Awesome stuff. We're not building anything. I just caught that in the corner of my eye. Um, I do want this. So I got told something quite interesting about this. I thought this was the in-game map and it was still broken. I was wrong. This gives, this lets you see the map before you go into the mission. Which I think is actually really, really good. Because it means you can avoid the really shit maps. Because there is one or two maps that I absolutely hate. And regardless of the mission, I don't want to go onto it. Uh, destroy a base, one and a half. Some good one and a half skulls here. Destroy base, one and a half. Let's do this. What did I put on you? I don't know what I built this into. It's got very meh hard points, so I can't imagine it being too crazy. Helpful for you to plan the moves. I don't know. I actually so the mini map was a very interesting addition. Like the in-game mini map is very interesting because it's a really good idea. Like I'm glad that they added it. I think it's good overall. Like there's no negative to having that mini map there. There is zero negative. But surprisingly, it's useless. Which, which really did surprise me. Um, I, say, I say useless. That, that's wrong. It's It does not a lot. Which is a shame because it's a really good addition. Like I, I like it a lot. It's just not very useful. Maybe because I'm just like, like it's really experienced without it. So I never look at it type of thing. But the only use, I explained it for the only use that I can think of is it helps you know where new lances spawn. And that's it. Like, if you're doing a defend base, if you're doing an escort, it can be handy on those if you don't know where they've spawned. Exactly, yeah, exactly, Shin. From a... From my perspective, I've... You know... I, I think I know every single map apart from Waterworld. I think I know every single map like the back of my hand. Or at least to a solid level. I say it as I get a map that doesn't immediately ring a bell. Yeah, it does. Okay, yeah, I know this one. Uh, Yeah. This is a common ambush convoy map, I think. Is it? God, I can't see a thing. Um. Oh yeah. Uh, difference from last uh last week's recording. I took back off combat log. I said it would. I kind of like the combat floys. I won't lie. But this is where it wants me to spawn, and honestly, I kind of agree with it. Exactly. Yeah. It's a, it's a very good addition. Don't don't get me wrong. Like, I, I'm not really shit talking it because it was a great idea. I'm just surprised ha at how how much I just didn't need it, really. As if someone told me, like, would you like, what the fuck? If someone asked me, would I like a minimap for this game? I would immediately say yes. So... Sorry, that was two really big sneezes. 
Ooh. Okay, one. Oh, buildings. Oh, I guess it's another sneezing. Another sneezing fit there. Oh, okay. That's a combat bunker. Mortar turret. Thunderbolt emplacement. Thumb oh, God. Okay, three indirect turrets. Which means I've got to rush them. Basically, those are not turrets I can just let go. I've got to kind of rush them. Oh, my nose. Oh. I hate sneezing a bit. Oh, it's this map. Sorry, the fog covered it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the one with the uh, this hilltop. I don't normally attack from this side, so that took me a second. Oh, sorry for the sneezes. Holy shit. Alright, utilizing the spawn protection. I can kind of push forward. <gasps> oh, sorry. Didn't mute that one. Oh. Thank you. I hate sneezing fits. I don't know what causes me to get them. I don't know if it's like sensitivity to something. But I'll just get them really randomly. Oh, Arctic Tear. Um, do I have a tissue nearby? No, oh, it's not necessary just yet. So my goal is next turn. I can let the thumper shoot for one turn. I hate the artillery, but it doesn't do too much damage on a single turn. I think the thunderbolt and the mortars are more immediately impactful. Yeah, it's working. They're trying to indirect splash damage me, but they can't because spawn protection is still active. I do love the new spawn protection. I will say they absolutely nail this spawn protection system. Absolutely nailed it. Like it's perfect. Like it really is. Bomb protection removed. I was on their ass about spawn protection for so long. I, I, I've i got to give them full props for this. I don't like that commando having my ass. I think you've got SRMs. I think that's two SRM6s, actually. Can I one-shot the turret? Unlikely. A really good crack though, yeah. I think I'm going to struggle to get both. We'll give it a whirl. Rather tough. Uh, well, it's 260 health. It's definitely not a small amount of health. That's for sure. We don't need the PPC capacitor. Probably could have turned off the SRMs, but I want it to be safe. The issue is now is how do I take care of the Thunderbolt emplacement? Because not many of my guys can make it over there.
Move up the real lasers because they do bonus damage to armor. Yep. Instead of 25, they do 35 damage if the enemy has armor. Which is amazing. Um. Yeah, it looks like I can't get the Thunderbolt emplacement, which I should have thought about that, because maybe the Firestarter could. But hey ho, we've done it now. Arctic Cheater. You're clan tech. That could be heavy lasers. Heavy lasers would be a really big problem for me right now. And that's firing MRIVs as well. That's firing uh, not MRIVs. Thermal bolts. Either HE or thermal bolts. We saw it fire last uh, last round. Yeah, we got one. Well, it is clan tech. I was hoping it was a refit, but it is clan tech. That didn't sound like SRM twelve. You can see the turret. I need a hero. Um, I went to the wrong place, didn't I? Damn it, I went too far. That's what I get for being too quick. Um, I have a little heat gen as well. Quite surprised. That was awful accuracy. For 74%, that was really poor. Um, I feel like if I do this, I can bait... I can bait these two turrets to shoot this vehicle. I don't like this thing being in the open like this. Really good sensor locks. But they might go after this, because they like going after vehicles, especially sensor vehicles. Okay, so Inferno Ammo and Clan Pulses? Climatech is good. Climatech's very, very strong. Gaff, yep. And you got hit by the tag barrage. Baited the RT. Okay, it was Thermal Bolt. The shaft is annoying, but we should still have a good chance to hit. And my worry is I can't Vigilance. I think that's okay. I need to... Vigilance with the Spectre, I think. Yeah, we got it. Oh, we didn't. I needed those extra mediums. Oh. I mean, you could take another arty shot. Another M10, six damage. Six damage? Why is it 6 damage? Target resistance times 1.2. Why?
Oh, because the reactor got crit. It makes it take more damage. I never knew that. Very interesting. Oh, very interesting. Okay, that was good. I wonder when that was added. Um, really, it's a block shot on the commando. That does mean I can't use that PPC, but well, that's the cheater. Right. There's the commando. Two SM sixes. I was right. Hmm. I'm not in range to kick. The trebuchet's movement is not good. To say the least. And the shaft is kind of messing me up, but I want to get rid of these SRM6s. Pass two might be a bit much. Double PPC miss. Any one of those, and that would have lost something. That would have either lost a torso, a leg. Like, man, that sucks to miss a PPC there. You need to... Okay, is there a fall chance if I jump? No, but there's an overheat chance because of the thermals. Oh, those thermals are annoying. Right. I see to get it into some sort of cover. I'm still in like overheat territory, but I don't think I'm in shutdown territory. Yeah, I won't shut down. Which is something. That Arctic Cheater is like in the worst possible place for me. Uh... If I kick there, I get two evasion. Probably with the kick, it's not very likely. And if I miss... I don't have Juggernaut. So I lose my evasion. Well, I lose my evasion, I just don't get brace. Uh... I think we'll just go for that and just leave the PPC off. Good hits. Very good hits. The surprise it wasn't more, but I mean. Oh, because I went down the hill. That's why I couldn't see it. I didn't end up going uphill. Interesting. Yeah, that was a really annoying mis misclick that I did. Gotta be careful with the Cloudbuster. Lock shot is fine, because that's still plenty of damage on the flank. See, that's more like the aim we're, look, we're aiming for. That must be really close to death. Why does the pilot have so much health? Yeah, it looks like it's only firing one of the SRMs. I'm assuming just, just to maintain heat. Oh, you, ha you ran out of ammo. That's fine. I guess all your ammo got crit. Right, 
You've got a stand-up penalty. Fine with me. Baited again, which is nice. I don't want to be doing this for too much longer because uh, it's starting to add up. What? That is a good thing about like dealing with artists. It's it's a lot of damage, but it's always spread. So if you can bait the target, it's actually not that bad. Spectre alone is not going to be enough. Yeah, you've still got the thermal tricking on, haven't you? Double 63 miss. Yeah, I don't think I'm taking care of that this turn either. Because that thermal, that, um... Barrage is actually really messing me up here. I sort of get out of the... Oh, this is all still counting as flames. I think. <clears throat> right. So I can't deal with the artillery just yet, which is... Actually, really annoying. They had a lot of things that could overheat me. It is also a dust storm. So, fifteen percent less seeking, sinking. And heat generation increased by 10%. Okay, yeah, so it is it is like a double negative. I wasn't going completely mental. You've only got medium laser flamer left. You've got... You should probably just die. Wrong side. I feel like the commando's probably going to try and kick me. Can you t you can technically take another R to hit. I just don't want you to. Mm. Ah, you should be able to take it. There's also some free damage on the thumper, which is nice. I need that right now. We've got an herb. Oh, pepper boxes are nasty. Oh, Buster. Right. Can I get you to see the arty? I can if I go, like, back here. Uh, incendiary does more damage. Yes, it does. Very slightly. Okay, that's a really good hit. I can get a shot there, but is it worth it? Do I want to give my back to everything? No, because you've already been hit in the back. 
I need to try to avoid that. Both like as bad as each other. I guess we'll go up with the spider. That shaft is really messing me up. It's gonna keep happening as well. Let's try to keep our heat kind of low. I'm not expecting the one shot here anyway. That is actually really helpful. It does still have jump jets though. Kitty! How's it going? How are you doing? Right, good dodges on the claws. Hello! Blue armor crit, which sucks, but that's fine. Get ready to clock in, so I want to say hello. No problem, I do appreciate it. Hopefully, you have a wonderful day at work. As far as, you know, wonderful days at work can go. Good angle for this, are is there? I will therefore have a good stream, don't you worry. That one I'm looking for, that should be enough, but might be might be scraping bottom of the barrel here. I think we got it, yeah. I think we've just got it. Attack? I guess back attack isn't the worst. Nothing else to really go for, is there? Apart from this commando, but... I need to protect my back at the minute. So we'll keep the snub. Could you use both just to make sure it dies? Why is that in the game? Four meltdowns should just not be in the game. It just doesn't make sense. All it does is restrict the player. Why is it in the game? That is the sole reason SRMs and melee is pretty much obsolete. <laughs> Amongst other things. But that's one of the primary reasons why you never see anybody use SRMs or melee. I guess with a C3 unit, you can still use SRMs. But that is just a fucking step. Alright. Um... I have to make sure I stay cool for that. At least it's not as extreme as it used to be, it seems. They have toned it down a bit, I think. Because it used to max your heat bar, like, instantly. So maybe they've toned it down? I don't know. You stay hidden, I'm even going to risk it.
Yep, plays. I thought so, I just wanted to double check. I think they can only flare once per turn. Once per round, should I say. So, we should be able to SRM them now. Using Cindy's for bonus damage. The herb is still kind of stuck down here, weirdly. Uh, take off a medium. Let's take off the mediums, try and cool off. Keep the chems together, because the chems are pretty heat efficient. It is technically a new round. Engine crit. It's interesting that engine crit makes them take more damage. I, I don't know when they added that, but it's kind of cool. Um, I, I never really paid... like That could have been in the game since probably since the start, and I never realised. That's something I just never looked at, so... Quite interesting. Yep, so the flares only go off for the first shot in the round. That already ran out, but I think he still had some left. Right, we are still affected by the radiation. Expulse is off, we'll go with the PPC. Arm's not the best target, but it's a solid hit nonetheless. Getting rid of half a mech is definitely considered a good shot. At least in my book. Uh, yeah, try to keep your heat low. Good hit. Maybe it would have been worth shooting the other laser. Was that a headshot? Not bad. Okay, it looks like that herb is going to be a little bit awkward. Start ripping through the building a little bit. Inferno rounds on building. Inferno rounds is just amazing on this thing. Makes it so good at like buildings and vehicles. Even VTOLs, it's quite effective. I know it's got flax, so flax is even better. But if you ever run out of flax, it also works pretty well on vehicles. I'm worried about going here, because I don't know how far that Irby can move. It's an Irby, so not far. But I don't know if it can make... I doubt it could make it far enough back to get a shot. But who knows? The shaft could be the killing blow here. There is there is potential. Never mind. Blazers did it. Seven damage, fourteen damage, sixteen damage. Did they nerf how much heat damage? Buildings times two. Heat modifiers, building times two. Okay. Yeah, so it's that it's technically more damage, but not by much. I thought it was a much bigger margin. But I guess not. Maybe they nerfed uh, incendiary ammo. Like, definitely could have been. Uh, 
I wouldn't blame him if they did. I don't think it necessarily needs it, but at the same time, I wouldn't blame him. It is on the stronger side of things, I think. At least when you pair it with things like Merbidon, anyway. Right. This thing's very dangerous. It does have pirate ECM, so a sensor lock would be nice. I just be careful with what I show. It could just peek around the corner and blast me. Yeah, it's trying. Right. If I could just completely remove you in one, that would be perfect. I missed the first PPC. Okay, SRM's got it. <clears throat> well, it seems like I was trying to get this mission done before the first... Uh, first ad break was going to kick in because that has now become necessary evil on Twitch uh, but yeah I'm afraid we're going to just have to leave it here for a few minutes while the uh, ads go through don't worry about it on YouTube I'll be cutting this bit out you guys nothing will happen but I apologise everyone on Twitch I'm going to go and stretch my legs alrighty we are back So, oh, let's kick it off with uh, hitting on this Irby. See if we can take it out to dinner first. Um, two evasion I'm not too happy with. Hey, thank you, Shin. Thank you, thank you. Again, sorry for having to do that. It's really become a necessity on the channel like it's actually kind of insane how much of a difference it's made i am still trying to think of better ways to do it i am not happy with how like it currently breaks up the stream but <sighs> we'll need to see we'll need to see Um, if I get close enough for a ping, that would be preferable. Because the issue with doing it the way we are now is that it really just like, every hour the stream just comes to a halt. I kind of don't like that. I always preferred the other way where it's just kind of like I could just keep going with it and sadly just at some point it would just have to trigger. It's no matter what, someone's getting fucked by it, so Because Papa Twitch says so. Maybe Infernos might have been a better choice. I don't know how much heat this thing generates. I think quite a lot. Ow. Honestly, not that... Okay, a lot. Yeah. Not that much actually hit me. Those are pepper box rifles. They are basically... Uh, periphery LBXs. I think is the best way to put them. Um, I 
So it's like old timey shotguns. Are they like one shots? No, they aren't one shots, but they do have, so the ammo has to be stored with the gun. But if the gun's in the arm, the ammo has to be in the arm. That's the downside to periphery weapons, amongst other things. Like proto weapons. No, these are. These periphery weapons are before auto cannons. Periphery weapons are what we use now. You know, in the year 2020 type of thing. So, you know, they are the before era of weapons. They're still technically more advanced than our weapons, but you get the idea. You know what I mean? Like, the concept is based on our weapons. So, like, they generate a lot of heat, they're very explosive, very volatile. It can do a crazy amount of damage. Like, Periphery weapons still hit really goddamn hard, especially if you put the right ammo type in them. Especially if you put the right ammo type in them, they can hit insanely hard. It's just ammo being in the same location is the uh, the major downfall. Oh, that's cool. Oh, so we can actually see what's inside the turret now. Oh, that's awesome. Mortar 4. Oh, the command. The mortar had a command bunker? Oh, they all have command bunkers. Oh, interesting. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, uh, tur turrets do have engines in. Turrets do have engines. That's why you, you can crit out the engine on a turret. Like You can fall on triple crit it and it kills the, the turret. Oh, Thunderbolt 10. Oh, we destroyed the thermal bolt. Okay. Okay. Uh, there we go, there's the pe pepper box. It's four barreled cannons. Oh, this one has built in ammo. Interesting. So, this is internal ammo. It has nine shots. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, I don't think we need the clan FC unit. It's nice, but nothing special. Clan sensors are okay. Stealth armor. Tag barrage for a bit of money. Proof of stuff is wow, Joe. It really is. Proof of stuff is pretty cool. I guess we take that for a bit of money. Oh shit, wait, no, 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 uh, shape charge. This shit's annoying as fuck to get a hold of later. This is what you use if you want to headshot stuff. So I'm going to preempt it. Oh, we get all of it anyway. Well, that was irrelevant. Some mistakes are too fun to make only once. Very true. Like jump jets on mechs. Good morning, nap time for me. Well, you are you are for a nap, Tigru. Cheers for coming in. I do appreciate it. If you are.
Nice to sleep to the sound of pew pew. It can, it can be relaxing. It can be relaxing. Yeah, just look. Yeah, no problem, man. Cheers so much for coming in. Uh, we still got plenty of missions here, right? Yep, we got plenty to do. 